Hey guys, Jam Report back again, and here is the final video of the day. And we're gonna go into on dating apps, specifically Tinder and all these other great things where women are having their issues, yada yada yada. So we'll go directly into it immediately without any briefing. A third of the people on hookup app Tinder are already married, with women being most likely to cheat. Oh, wow. It's almost like that 50% of uh, women being um, having a backup partner on, the, on their phone is, uh, you know, true. Oh my. More than 4 in 10 people who use Tinder are already in a relationship. 1 in 10 are going out with another person. 3 in 10 are supposedly so committed that they go married? What? It is supposed to be, it's supposed to help single people find love or at the very least, a bit of romance. But a third of people on Tinder, the dating app, are already married. And somewhat surprisingly, women are the worst offenders. Offensers. I'm going to assume offenders. Definitely offenders. It's not really surprising, really. I mean, yeah, it's showing from what the stats are showing particularly. Um, women are quickly rising up into being one of the worst ones in this in, in relationship type of deal because in today's society really does not help women at all. So um, it teaches them to, to hoard themselves out, to uh, not help them particularly um they can do whatever they want and there's like no repercussions or punishments for it so therefore well this is what they deal with it's quite sad and society is really hurting women and some of the things women have honestly done to themselves according to a study by global web index more than four in ten people who use that dating app are already in a relationship one in ten are going out with another person while it's three in ten are supposedly so committed that they have stood up in front of their first friends taken vows. Even so, they have signed up to signed up to the dating app, which allows people to scan for other users nearby and decide whether they like like the look of them based on their photographs. Whenever they see someone they fancy, use, users indicate their interest by swiping by swiping right on the touchscreen of their smartphone, smartphone or, ta or tablets. If they are not interested, they swipe left. Users are only able to contact each other once both people have swiped right on, uh, on each other's profiles, showing that the interest is mutual. The mobile app is more popular amongst men, who outnumber women 3 to 2. However, women on Tinder are nearly twice as likely to be cheaters. More than half of the women in the dating app are in a romantic relationship of some kind and more than 40% are married. That compares to a third of men who are in a relationship and 23% who have taken their vows. Jason Mander, Global Web Index's head of trends, said he was surprised by results, but said that not, very, not every married person would be using the website to cheat. Well, obviously. It suggests that women are keener, keener than men to go window shopping, he said. Hmm. Well, that's not painting women in a very good light, now is it? It is clear that there is a segment of the audience using Tinder for purposes they shouldn't be. The natural assumption is that married people are using it to cheat on their partners. People are more inclined to cheat using the app because it's so easy to download and swipe through pictures, he said. People still have a sense that because it is an app, it is a different version of you and that you are just having a little bit of fun in cyberspace. Okay, well then those people are delusional or in quite insane. I mean, you can't really uh, separate the difference between Tinder and real life, then you have a problem. And I, I don't know, man, I, what, what is that? However, Mr. Mander added that some married people may be using the app for perfectly innocent reasons, such as to, take, such as to make new friends in their area. Okay, why would you? Okay, why would you use Tinder to make new friends in your area? There are, there are actual sites where you can make friends in your area without the use of Tinder. So, what? What? No. What? Unsurprisingly, the mobile app is most popular amongst younger, younger users. Well, that would make sense. 
and around 38% are aged between 16 and 24, and 45% fall in the 25 to 34 bracket. Just 4% are, are over the age of 45. The app is also much pop much more popular in towns and cities that is in rural areas where there are many fewer people around. Well, that makes sense, obviously. Tinder has been downloaded more than 50 million times since it launched in 2012 and matches around 26 million would-be couples every 24 hours. Global Web Index surveyed 48,000 people about their in internet habits, of which 621 said they used Tinder. Location-based dating apps such as Tinder and The League have combined total of 91 million users, a previous, previous study from the firm. Now, a new study has found that nearly two-thirds of these app of these app users are men, and one in five will pay for premium services. 16 to 34 year olds make up the majority of mobile dating app users, accounting for 70% of the user base. Last year, a similar study by Pew Research Center found that men were more active on dating, dating apps and sites. Well, that would make sense. The research found that 13% of US males had used a dating app or a site, compared to only 9% of women in the States. And I have never once used one, and I never will, because dating apps are a cancer, and they are horrible for actually building relationships at all. Good for flings, and anything other than that, essentially useless. Not only that, you just get thoughts, and I don't like desperate or thoughty women. Sorry. According to Tinder, users will log on to the company's app on an average 11 times a day. Women spend as much as 8.5 minutes swiping left and right during a single session, while men spend 7.2 minutes. Wow, okay, well women are, are really looking for that next juice, I guess. The company claims to have 40 million users training behind Chinese dating app Momo, which, has, which is said to have 60 million active users, which I guess would be make sense, no? Because Chinese pe there's just more Chinese people, so makes sense. Other emerging players include Bumble and Hinge. Bumble is a dating app that emphasizes safety and puts women in control. The Tinder rival works on the same principle as the traditional, but only women can start conversations. They've created female-focused marketing material urging ladies to take the leap. Hinge, while meanwhile, links users on the basis of two actors' prox proximity, like Tinder and social friends of friends, so connections using data from Facebook. According to the company, 99% of its users are college-educated, most commonly working in industries such as banking, media, and fashion. The Global Web Index report also found that location-based dating apps are gaining the popularity in areas such as the Philippines, Thailand, Brazil, Mexico, India, the United Arab Emirates, Turkey, and Vietnam. These countries, according to the Global Web Index, now have more than 10% of the internet users who are using location-based dating apps. Well, I also think this as well is that these apps, it, the whole round of the world is becoming way more, um, I would say, women dominated or, or more for left eventually. Uh, as uh, eventually it's going to start happening. So I can see how this is becoming more of a market being portrayed in those other countries. Um, but yeah, I'm not too terribly surprised by some of this because, I mean, if we if we look at any other stats or any other things about what women are currently doing in day day and age, mostly um, women that are in that are either in high school now and and higher, uh, they're using dating apps consistently more. There's way more um, thoughtery and and I would say uh, fuckery going on in specifically the dating apps. Uh, in, in the, not da just the dating apps, but in, in those climates. So yeah, I, I would see a whole bunch of it. And women going to college, yeah, you're most likely, put it this way, guys. If, you're, if your daughter is most likely is going to college, there's a good chance she's going to get either turned into a liberal sheephead or be having so many bodies that you don't even know how to count, which is part, which is like a good chunk of the reason why we, I, I just, I, you're taking a huge risk with t having your t daughter go to college because of, they're just going to get thotted up all the way because the way the colleges are pretty much indoctrination camps 2.0. Um, going out of the schools would be more indoctrination camps. would technically be uh, the sc public schools we have for high school and lower grades. So, I mean, all public schools are terrible. Um, 
women are becoming way more thought uh, thoughtitious today than ever and this is in this uh this article is starting to prove that they're uh, definitely rising into a lot of negative events. Of course, in a lot of areas, people are going to not agree with this, right? They're gonna they're gonna call you like misogynist or whatever. And this is what's happening in modern day people. So be careful out there, uh, men. You know, you know where you gotta watch out where you're going and staying off Tinder or any other dating app. For your own safety. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Take care. Thanks for watching this clip of from my uh from my podcast that is that I make every day, Monday through Friday, um, three o'clock PM PST to all the way to five o'clock PM PST. If you like what you see, please be please subscribe, like and comment and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.